guys, welcome to my channel, the show starring Stormy. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today, from the title, you can tell I'm going to be doing a video all about how you can be pregnant and sexy. You seen that little eye look? <laughs> um, first of all, I'm wearing lingerie, okay? But this is not. It's to cover up my nipples. Um, I cannot find my robe. I was like looking for my little cute silk robe. I cannot find it. So, whatever. I threw this on. And your girl getting tired. Y'all know I'm big. Listen, I gotta, I gotta get this going, okay? If you haven't followed me already on Instagram, make sure that you go follow me at Starring Stormy. Y'all, show me some love. Uh, write me since you can no longer comment on my YouTube videos. Just write me on Instagram. I make sure that I reply back to like everybody. So, yeah. Okay, so update. I am currently 26 weeks pregnant. I have a video coming up where I'm going to be doing pregnancy must-haves, baby must-haves, um, just a whole bunch of different stuff and tips that you can do, use, utilize, or whatever when you're pregnant or if you're having a baby soon and you just want to know all the essentials that you feel like are necessary. Make sure that you turn on your post notifications because I'm going to be uploading a lot more now that I'm about to go on maternity leave. I'm going to try to post a video every single day, um, but we'll see what the good Lord what the good lord says okay but for right now we're gonna go ahead and hop into this video so i recently have just been feeling like funky i guess you can say not necessarily funky but just like not sexy not beautiful um fat unattractive ugly just not cute okay so i wanted to post this video to encourage myself obviously to get out there not get not get out there and date number one is to continue doing all the same things that you were doing as far as like beauty goes so if you shave your legs on the regular moisturize your skin um and take baths don't stop doing that just because you feel blah because you're big or you feel like you're big and ugly um i my legs were so hairy and i just looked ridiculous to myself so I shaved my legs I <laughs> took a nice big bubble bath and just rejuvenated myself and my soul while I was in the tub I said affirmations to the baby rubbed my tummy you know let him know that you're loved your mom loves you so much and he's moving right now um you're loved you know you're you're handsome you're intelligent and I just rejuvenated myself as I was saying affirmations to him I was also starting to say them to myself like you are beautiful you're intelligent you're smart you are one in a million okay you are irreplaceable and just saying those things to myself out loud kind of helped me be like whoo okay you know what I am that bee. what you talking about what you talking about when I got out the shower and when I got the bathtub, I just like moisturized my entire body with coconut oil, which is something that you should already be doing when you're pregnant anyways to help as much as possible with stretching and stretch marks and just itchy because you get really itchy when your skin's growing. So moisturizing three or four times a day is essential. So when I get out the bathtub while I'm all smooth, everything is feeling like all good and soft just moisturize with some coconut oil or whatever your favorite moisturizer is coconut oil is my favorite because it's not overly greasy but it penetrates into the skin so it leaves your skin feeling soft and smooth and you feel like a baby and you smell good the coconut smells so good even though i hate the taste of coconut i like to smell like coconut and number two do your makeup or whatever it is that you do normally to feel cute so like for me tonight, I went on and just did a full face of makeup, okay? Went and got my nails done, even though these are my real nails, um, cause I'm not wearing acrylics anymore um, with the baby coming. I just don't wanna 
be in labor or something and have these nasty acrylics on and germaphobe and I'm a germaphobe so I just took those off and just got them painted with gel polish so I got a manicure um, put my makeup on and did my hair so that I feel really cute as well put some lingerie on just to walk around the house like yeah I'm not going anywhere but or you know I'm not going anywhere I'm not wearing this to impress anybody but I'm wearing it for myself like girl you're still so beautiful like I feel really beautiful um, now probably more beautiful than I felt before for some reason I just I've tapped into my own inner beauty versus listening to what what other people were saying like oh you're so cute or this and that by being pregnant and being by myself I've been able to just tap into my own self my own beauty for me those are just things that's helped me over this course of how many ever weeks especially like these last couple of weeks with him growing so much like I'm like okay okay here we go so this is my bub So like I was saying before, these are just some things that's helped me as he has grown by me just making myself look pretty, doing my own thing, making myself encouraged, encouraging myself. I have been able to just like tap into that little extra little mm, before you get to that point of, oh, no, you know, nobody wants me or I'm so ugly. I'm so fat. I'm unattractive. Uh, blah. Look at me. Look how busted I look. And... <laughs> <laughs> and I just been able to be like, okay, girl, you still cute, you still got it, whatever it is, what it is, okay. He finna be here any day, and you still that be, you still fine, okay. I don't know if you guys, some for the people who follow me on Instagram, you've seen that uh, two weeks ago my uncle died, which was my mom's youngest brother. He passed away unexpectedly from an aneurysm, so our family went through a very difficult time of just like, and we still are, you know or going through that like funk part where you just like uh you're discouraged you don't really feel you know super motivated to do anything or go anywhere you just kind of like mourning so by just stepping out of your comfort comfort zone and just doing something to encourage yourself pray meditate eat more healthy vegetables go out and talk to people you would normally talk to like if you don't hang out with your cousin that you see all the time you don't really see them often go hang out with them and just get away you know help yourself feel better my best friend has been a huge encourager for me like she call, she calls me all the time she texts me all the time <laughs> she's always over here or she'll come by and just check on me because she knows how it is to be in this state of where you're just like what the heck what's going like what's gonna happen next and so you really need people around you who are genuinely and truly there for you who care about you who love you and um will care about your well-being when it's all said and done people who genuinely care about you will bug you until you're annoyed and that's what you need sometimes when you're dealing with a whole bunch of crap in your life you need people who are gonna annoy you and just be like girl we got this so i thank god for my friends and my family because a lot of people are not that fortunate moving on from that because I spent too much time on this anyways if you guys seen that I posted a video um, reviewing Deara and Ken's proposal video I noticed you guys are not into those kind of videos uh, that video did not even get that many views so I'm assuming you guys are more into like my vlogs uh, talk discussion videos advice videos whatever I want you guys to go on my Instagram and leave me a message or just comment on anything and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me because like I said being on maternity leave I plan to upload a lot more and I want to bring content to this channel that you guys want to see I just know it's important during this period to just do you focus on you and know that in a couple of, for me in a couple of months life will no longer be about me well it will be about, uh, be about me but it won't be about me you know what I'm saying 
So with him coming, with my baby boy coming, I have to do everything that I can possibly in this state to number one, take care of myself because ultimately taking care of yourself is taking care of your baby. Number two, keeping yourself in good spirits is keeping them in good spirits because believe it or not, when you're sad, they know that you're sad. Even though they're in your tummy, they still know all the emotions that you're feeling. So you want to stay encouraged as much as possible. I don't want to have a sad baby. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. So I try to stay encouraged as much as much as possible. You want to just keep up with yourself because if you walk around every single day just like not feeling cute, not caring whether or not you're cute that day or not, every single day, day after day after day after day, month after month after month, you kind of forget who you are that will make you depressed oh i wanted to show you guys something so i had an ultrasound last week and uh, this was my second my second big ultrasound because i've had ultrasounds before but the one where they will out all the pictures this is number two i was so excited he is growing so well he was in there folded like this like a little burrito like sucking on his toes almost he was so cute so like i said this was a short video but i'm gonna be making a lot more videos soon so make sure that you turn on your post notifications and you're subscribed to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay sexy stay classy ladies and gents and i'll see you next one Bye. Till the clock so you awake, don't walk awake, or would you wait for me? I go out to the bar, hanging with the stars, don't even have a car, but you away from me.